वेलकम टू ऑल टू अपाची साउथ एशिया 22 कॉन्फ्रेंस अपाची कॉन इज ऑफिशियल ग्लोबल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑर्गेनाइज बाय अपाची सॉफ्टवेयर फाउंडेशन अपाची डजेंट नीड टू मच इंट्रोडक्शन वी ऑल नो दिस टर्म हैज बीन देयर सिंस द टाइम ऑफ इंटरनेट evolution a during 90s in today's world where cloud the web technology is definitely becoming a integral part of every industry apache has become even more popular its presence would be seen across different area including cloud native distributed computing and many other solution which we all are using on a daily basis it's all known to us web server plays a crucial role in internet world and it has demonstrated its strength and vitality since many years and i'm sure this will continue even in the future too as internet world the cloud era is evolving things are becoming even more and more complex and that's where there is a definitely need for a solution which can provide lot more insight about these complex distributed system hello everyone this is ajay nagarya director of engineering working for app dynamics app dynamics is owned by cisco and providing application monitoring software solution and observability platform to provide real time visibility and insight into it environment using observability platform and tools customer can take right action at exactly the right time with automated anomaly detection rapid root cause analysis and a unified view of entire application ecosystem including private and public cloud today me and my team are here to present the details about open telemetry based open source observability solution for apache http server at the end of the presentation i am sure you all would appreciate the benefit of this solution it's a benefit and also probably be ready to explore further to utilize this in your own it environment today's session would be focusing on briefly about what is observability and how open telemetry is helping to develop the observability solutions we will deep dive into http solutions and also will provide you the live demonstration of its capability at the end we will definitely summarize the session with benefits this solutions is providing and also leave you with some important references which you can explore further so without delaying further let's get into the presentation so again i am sure first question comes in everybody's mind what is observability there are different definition around what is observability including a official definition provided by wikipedia which says observability is a measure of how well internal state of a system can be inferred from knowledge of its external output meaning if we have a some kind of black box system where we don't know exactly in its internal state of the box by observability of this black box solution we can accurately infer what's going inside the system 
by measuring its external output. In simple definition, if you closely look this term, it's a observe plus ability. That means providing the capability within the system so that it can be observable based on some of the output it is producing. It's nothing but the ability to monitor its performance, understand its internal state by virtue of some of the output which it produces. Again, observability definitely provides the deep visibility into modern distributed application which is very very necessary. Distributed systems are so complex in nature, there are thousands of different components are working behind the scene and getting the visibility inside the solution is inside the environment is very very important and not just getting the visibility inside the environment also ability to identify the problem and also move toward the faster resolution so again observability is more than monitoring it's basically the comprehensive way of monitoring the system utilizing its output to really pinpoint the problem and look for the rapid solutions observability are mostly achieved through four important system it is known four important data groups which is known as a melt it's an MD matrix event logs and traces so these are the four groups through which some of these system parameters the telemetry data are being collected and through that system provide its own observability capability normally we again simplify it Met event is normally part of the matrix so in normal sense we, we say observability has the three pillar which is again if you see in the right hand side diagram which is uh, matrix traces and logs all three together provide the ability of the observability before moving into what is open telemetry we know of application monitoring and observability is definitely not a very new thing to the digital world there are many vendors who are providing proprietary solution customized solution for the it environment and which is being used so far the monitoring of the system but over the time these proprietary solution has started imposing the challenges industry research suggests most of the environments normally have multi-vendor solution deployment but later on realization suggests those multi-vendor solution start uh, giving the challenges of interoperability and also kind of impose the challenges of vendor locking so industry which has realized there is a need to find a standardization of these solution and also some kind of specification in the guideline which can be followed by all the observability vendors and solution should be implemented following those specification and that's where open telemetry has come as a solution to some of those challenges so open telemetry we say as word suggests open which is it's an open source component and telemetry is nothing but the debuggability data which observable system produces to identify the problem it's a cncf project it's definitely a lot more influenced and driven by those observability vendor but again lots of active contribution is coming uh, from the technologies the open source contributor who are on a day-to-day -day basis coming up with many innovative solution which is really adding lot more value to open telemetry projects 
and this is the second highest active project in the CNCF community. If we talk about again, open telemetry provides the vendor neutral API SDK and also the specification which solutions based on open telemetry should follow. It definitely manages some of the core component and also the specification of the protocol like uh, protocol which has been introduced very recently. OTLP is the, is the standardized protocol to transmit the data from one side to another side. And if we talk about open telemetry itself is not a platform. It's a basically again the guideline, the specification, the protocol and some of the tools and the API. But from the backend perspective, definitely there is a need to use third party component or maybe open source component to ingest and analyze these open telemetry data. Those solutions could be App Dynamics provided solution or Prometheus, Gipkin, Eager, Skywalking, and there are many more. Let me not go too deeper because this session is definitely not very much focusing on open telemetry, but again, to reiterate three pillars of the observability and which is again being followed by open telemetry. Those are the traces, metrics, and the logs. Traces provide the insight into each and every transaction, which provides the ability to pinpoint the failure and the performance issue. Metrics, these are the aggregated small set of data, which always include timestamp from the start to end and some other related metadata. And the logs, this is again, could be structured or unstructured data, which is calculated over the period of time and definitely it is a lot more controlled by developer to really provide rich information for the de debuggability. So traces and metrics could be the smaller unit, but the log could be very, very comprehensive details. So these three data groups, which really focused by open telemetry to provide the observability solutions. This is the time to again deep dive into the observability solution for Apache HTTP server. So without delaying further, I would like to invite Devajit from my team to give details about why this solution was developed, how it is developed and what actually it provides. So with this over to you, Devajit. Thanks Ajay. I am Devajit and working at Cisco AppDynamics as a software engineer. I would be covering the instrumentation of Apache HTTP server and how this has been achieved by leveraging open telemetry. <clears throat> I would discuss why we need it, how we are achieving this and what are the benefits. We have a demo uh, which will be covered by my dear colleague Pratish. <clears throat> now let's talk about the why part. Web server is an integral part of any web-based application and it renders HTTP content to the user. Apache is one of them. Nowadays, many organizations are moving towards cloud or provide their software offering or services on cloud. As a result, it becomes vital to observe the state of all services involved in a cloud-based application. With the growing popularity of open telemetry, Instrumentation is being developed and made available for most language-based applications. Hence, to maintain the correlation and enhance the end-to-end -end observability experience across the cloud-based applications, instrumentation of Apache becomes indispensable. Let's talk about how we have achieved this instrumentation for Apache HTTP server. To achieve this instrumentation, we had to initially understand the working of Apache HTTP server. Apache requests are handled in phases and modules get involved in each phase where each module has its own responsibility. Mod proxy, mod load balancer are some of the examples to name a few. 
in order to instrument, we created our own module for observing the state of requests flowing through the Apache. This module is loaded after all other modules are loaded and it starts capturing the time consumed in all of these modules involved in request processing phase whenever there are any inco incoming requests. We have leveraged Open Telemetry in this case. Since Apache HTTP server is C-based application, we wrote our cooking logic in C, C++ and used Open Telemetry C++ SDK for emitting traces and spans. Currently, this solution is supported on Linux-based operating systems such as CentOS, Ubuntu, with x86 based architecture. <clears throat> Traces and spans emitted from the open telemetry module are consumed by the collector. This open telemetry collector offers a vendor agnostic implementation of how to receive, process, and export telemetry data. This is open source and can be easily used by anyone. It exposes those data to the backends, which understands open telemetry data and processes them to display the contents on the UI for better user experience. Some of the open telemetry backends are Zipkin, Eager, AppDynamics, etc. <clears throat> uh, let's look at the demo setup that uh, my dear colleague Pratyus is going to demonstrate in, in a few minutes. So in this, in this setup, we have two Java services. Uh, listening on slash upstream and slash downstream. And Apache HTTP server acts as a proxy for this slash downstream. Apache HTTP server re receives requests on slash midstream and then forwards that request to slash downstream. Java based open telemetry instrumentation is hooked into both of these uh, Java based applications. The telemetry data from each of these uh, components, uh, including Java and Apache, are emitted to the open telemetry collector, <clears throat> which in turn forwards those traces to the Zipkin or backend uh, or Eager backends. <clears throat> now, over I'm I'm handing over to Pratyush for demonstration. Over to you, Pratyush. Uh, now it's demo time. Thanks, Devajit. Uh, Devajit has already told you about the demo setup of upstream Java, midstream Apache and service and downstream Java. I will be giving you the demo. So I have a Docker container running uh, in this Docker container. The Java app is already installed. So first I will be running the upstream Java app, the upstream service. I've already set an ADS for upstream. Uh, similarly, I've set the alias for downstream. Uh, now I will start the HTTP. So all three services are already running. Now let me send a curl request. So I will sending the curl request to upstream. Uh, which will be sending it to mid, which will be proxying it to midstream and the midstream Apache through a proxy pass which send it to the downstream. Uh, I've also got a Docker container running with hotel, open telemetry collector and uh, Zipkin backend. I mean, so that's that. Already got the response. You see a response from upstream and the downstream as well. So let's go to the backend. There's no screen map here. You can see upstream app. So like you can see the three services, upstream app, midstream app, downstream app. In the upstream, this is the URL we are hitting. So the curl request, the URL is then calling the HTTP get. This is the HTTP get, which would be uh, hitting a remote call to the midstream service. The midstream service, this is the midstream URL being called. The mod proxy handler, this is the module which handles the reverse proxy setting for Apache. And this would be calling the downstream URL. The downstream URL, 
So downstream URL is uh, hitting a remote call to a remote HTTP server over the web. So this is how it's working. Now you can see the different spans and traces and their attributes. Like this is an exit call, so interaction time, exit call, namespace, and namespace time. I will tell you what all these difference we go to the configuration button. So now I will show you the configuration file. So these are all the modules for the C++ SDK which we have loaded. And this is our core module, core, core logic which uses the C++ SDK. So this is the module for that. And this is the Apache module which we are loading. So this is the one which acts as an interceptor. Uh, Apache module enabled. So what it does is this ensures that the module is loaded and this ensures that the module is instrumented. Apache modules expand span exporter. So we are sending it to hotel collector. So we are now uh, the span type, the exporter type we are using is OTLP. That's why uh, endpoint, this is the, uh, endpoint to which we are explore, exporting it to hotel collector SSL enabled. This is the SSL for security purposes, which can be enabled using the security path of file. Uh, we have currently default by it's on and we have commented it or default it's off and we have commented it. Span processor. We are using simple span processor, but we can change it to batch span processor. What batch span processor does is, uh, it queues the spans together and then send the sets in a clump hotel sampler. So this ensures how many sp spans and what type of spans we want to export. Always on ensures that every span is exported. Mac queue size is the size of largest queue size of span that can be put in a queue. Uh, schedule delay is the amount of delay between the span exporters uh, three in milliseconds. Uh, export timeout in milliseconds is at a time after which it has to be exported uh, for sure. So in, in milliseconds, model batch size is the batch size for the batch span processor. Currently, all these are commented, and by default, we are using a simple span processor. So now let's come to Apache module service name, uh, namespace, and instance ID. These are open telemetry compliant name, namespace, and in instance IDs uh, fields. So currently, name we are using different for each service, as we have shown there. Uh, so in namespace, we are using of same for all three Java and uh, Apache service and instance as we use the unique. Now let's come to Apache module resolve backend. So let's see what it does. If you see here, if we put a resolve backend says off, then what you get is you will just hit the midstream service and the downstream service span would be not visible. So because the backend for this Apache service, the downstream app would be disabled. Now let's continue. And trace as error. So this would select the trace as error. Now Apache web server context. Presently it is commented. Uh, so web server context, what it does is it is used for virtual host. So if you specify web server context and give these three parameters, it will override these three parameters for the, uh, the that specific virtual host. And segment type and segment parameter is the type of URL and the size of URL you want to have um, for send, exporting it to the backend. So now let's let me show you another example. So this is the, this example will show you module wise monitoring. So here you could see the midstream service. This is the URL, and presently these are these two are the modules which are being uh, shown here as the. So we monitor all the modules except uh, some core modules which are used for every request. But the additional uh, modules which are important to monitor for every request, we monitor all of them, uh, including the third-party modules. So those would be when they are enabled, those would be shown as subspans. So that's all from my, the demo side. Uh, I will be handing over to David. Thanks, Pratyush.
It was a wonderful demo indeed. What are the benefits? As we have seen in the demo, any incoming requests are tracked by capturing the response time of individual modules involved in the request processing phase and end-to-end -end correlation is displayed. Therefore, any delay or error occurring at any stage of the request can be easily identified, thereby enhancing the debuggability of the system. Let's assume a PHP script gets involved in a request and there is some delay or error in the PHP script. This delay or error would be easily captured as abnormal time consumption of the mod PHP module and can be seen in the UI dashboard. So this information would provide any end user with a hint to look into the PHP script and debug further. One key benefit of this solution is that hooking this solution is just a matter of some configuration before starting the Apache and the instrumentation works automatically. Thus, we have seen how observability is achieved in Apache HTTP server. We have a dedicated team in Cisco App Dynamics who are constantly striving to make this solution better. We have a future plan for enhancements by providing support for mod status and providing compatibility on other platforms as well. These are some of the references which we have captured uh, related to uh, our open telemetry Apache instrumentation and open telemetry engine. Thank you.